Hi, I'm a third year student at the University of Cumbria and I'm studying in primary education. I've been in Carlisle for almost two and a half years now and I absolutely love the place, the people, the friends I've made and the communities themselves. A great example of this is The Way. Its tagline is sharing life in Carlisle. This is a brilliant tagline for it as it truly is sharing life in Carlisle. This can be from just discussions to meeting up with friends. It's brilliant because we get to discuss so many interesting and diverse things, such as God and religion, yes, but also philosophy and ethics, which is perfect. It's so fun. It's a great way to meet people, even for me as a non-Christian. It helps me develop as a person. Great, just above you. There you go. And um, maybe think about getting your right foot. Here? On here. And then left foot just a little bit above. Friendship is a massive key element within the way because without it, you're not going to discover, you're not going to open up to new possibilities or new ideas. I kind of lost my way a bit over the years. I mean, without the way, I wouldn't have rediscovered Christianity. I wouldn't have rediscovered God. Each time that you trust a person or a different person, then you can just go to the next step, go to the next level, step by step, bit by bit. Abraham died as did the prophets, yet yeah, you say, if anyone keeps my word, he will never taste death. Be greater than our father Abraham, and the prophets died. Yeah, I, I agree he's a radical, I agree that he was a radical, but I don't think because he was a radical and he spoke out. Not one of them split. But those ideas were very radical at the time, weren't they? The way he spoke was very radical. One of the things I have the pleasure of doing as part of The Way is um, opening the Gospel and opening the Bible with non-Christian students and uh, discussing and exploring with them what they think about what we're reading. Um, I've been absolutely amazed at how open and ready people are to do this. Um, I spend time each week with people just uh, exploring some of the things that Jesus is saying, looking at his life. Um, and I found that if I'm honest about how I'm reading it, if they're honest about how they're reading it, then both of us learn together and our friendship really develops. Um, it's been a great experience for me when we can take that approach. People are so much more open to hearing what we have to say um, because it's, it's casual, it's relaxed, it feels real and, uh, and normal. True. The style of the church is a really great fit for me because it's not like other churches where it's easy to be judged, and it is easy to be judged in other churches, but the way is more of just having um, a conversation where it's not very stressful and it's very, just very like a relaxed atmosphere, um, and you can get to know people better one-on-one -on -one, as well as discuss and have questions about the Bible without feeling like you're being judged. I mean, like, spiritually alive. I don't The Student Dinner Project is increasing in popularity every week. Um, we're into the second year now and um, because of the mix of students that we get from different courses and different years at university, they're telling their friends of course because it's um, a good deal for a pound for two courses. So we have some students who actually help in the kitchen. We have. Um, one young man who's a trainee teacher who's very keen on cooking and he's there every week and um, we all muck in and do different jobs. That's a real opportunity to get to know one another. We have um, some conversations in the kitchen from what we've been doing that day to deeper uh, discussions about Christianity and beliefs.
eating together is a really important part of the way. It's great for students as you actually get them to sit down and have a meal together, which is something maybe a student wouldn't do so much, as they would usually eat on their own, and it would usually be something like noodles. But this way, you get to sit down and talk to people and create friendships, and it's in an open and honest manner too. I've always signed stuff Christian because Mum told me to help me get a job. <laughs> the way on Wednesday follows on after each of the student dinners and it's a key point of gathering for our community during the week. Um, it's a mixed group of Christians and non-Christians and it's a gathering where people can start to explore the Christian faith perhaps for the first time. We use all sorts of methods, we use bits of student alpha, uh, we use creative arts, we explore spirituality and prayer um, in different ways. Um, and it's been really great to uh, have Johnny helping out with leading some of the sessions uh, and bringing a really fresh approach to things. I'd say, yeah, you're definitely completely right about so the church. So it's between faith and religion then, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But as well as that, we found that it's been really important for the Christian members of the way to gather together on a Sunday evening for worship and prayer and teaching. And we also gather around a communion meal. And we found that this gathering has really become the fuel for the whole spiritual life of the community. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. I think the, uh, the communion meal on, on Sunday evening really um, is a bit of an image of everything that we're doing um, in the way. It's, um, it's relevant, it's informal, it's to do with building relationships and friendships and, and, and it's gathering around uh, the message of Jesus. So that communion meal really encapsulates everything we do and, and the way we do it really um, uh, is, is a kind of an image of, of the wider community of the way and how it operates. Okay, so I'm not a Christian, but the way has helped me explore the bigger questions in life, and I've loved being part of it. I'm not afraid that stuff that we've chatted about would linger in their minds um, and start to settle in their hearts.